For me, it started um, in the late 80s. I was inspired by a guy called Terry Fox. He was a, an amputee. He lost one of his legs due to cancer. And he tried to run from the east to west of Canada, which uh, it, itself is 5,000 kilometers. And he tried to do a marathon a day until he finished his journey. Uh, and this inspired me for this point-to-point -point journey from uh, John O'Groats to Land's End. Uh, he lost uh, his uh, fight against cancer, so he unfortunately died before he got to the, the finish. So this also taught me that uh, sport's not just about winning, but it's about the kind of impact you can have on your local community. And, and he raised a lot of money for uh, cancer research, and, and that's still ongoing, over 400 million. So for me, the legacy of sport uh, is about me applying myself in a way that can have an impact on the local community and uh, the, the platform from last year really gave me the opportunity to take on such a massive task. 200 metres was all about uh, that, that uh, fast twitch, uh, acceleration and that, that being successful on one day which was the 1st of September, winning that gold medal where the 40 marathons is all about patience and uh, running myself into the challenge and uh, taking a lot of people with me, hence the reason why I've got a strong team around me. But also I'm getting uh, Joe Public to sign up for the run, whether it's 5K, 10K or even a marathon, to come on the journey with me and watch or take part for free or actually enrol and do some good in their local community by donating to charity. Uh, I was diagnosed with sarcoma in February back in full health now so I wanted to do something to raise awareness and raise money and show that I'm full of life. In Inverness it was, uh, it was quite a, a tough place for me to, to be uh, mentally and physically as a, an athlete and as which is the lead behind the project. I was trained to, to run consecutive marathons but the equipment that I had really wasn't uh, up to the spec that I needed initially. So luckily I had a team around me that was very dynamic, so the people from Ossa really worked hard in getting me new prosthetics that enabled me to continue. Um, one, having like the blisters, uh, and then having to make a decision uh, whether to use the handbike or to continue to run. Uh, even though I used the handbike for a short amount of time, it was, it was something that I thought about a lot because I didn't want it to detract from the, the whole concept of the, the journey. The Inverness experience really gave me that grit and determination to show that I'm going to hammer every day. I've obviously committed to, to 40 days away from my family, uh, a young family, uh, to do this challenge. Uh, initially I felt quite guilty of doing that because uh, you're robbing your, your daughter of that, that, that precious time at an early age. But, I feel that it's important that I do that for, for her as well to show that uh, things like this are really important to have that, that bigger picture and that, that bigger impact sometimes you have to make those small sacrifices. I want to be like a beacon for the people to say, look, this, 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 this person has actually done these things, whether he's got a disability or not. And I've always had that self-belief that I was going to get to the finish, whether it was, whether it was in one piece or, or many pieces, mentally as well as physically. <laughs> Yesterday was uh, quite an emotional day because that realisation that all that hard work, not just in the 40 days, but in my life, has, has come to, to be able to complete such a massive challenge and uh, it was strange as well because it was though I was watching somebody else complete their journey through their eyes so it was very surreal and um, yeah something that I'll always remember. And, uh, 
uh, Nissan have embraced uh, the team effort by providing me with these services. The journey itself wouldn't have been as, as effective as proficient. The vehicles have been a part of the journey and part of the team. I still believe that, that it's not about medals or, or money or, or prizes or awards, it's about how you can liberate other people and, and, and hopefully they liberate others. So it's that continual chain and I feel strongly about it as a, as a person as, and as a hopefully a role model for Paralympic uh, athletes.